rise and grind. The best bourbons for the money. Let's get into the list. And so you are out with some friends. You're at a bar, you're at a restaurant, you're at a ball game. And we all know what whiskey and alcohol prices can be when you're out. And so we have four great whiskeys that you can order. These are some great choices that you're gonna find at every bar. You're gonna find them at any restaurant and these won't break the bank. And so these are four great choices, great value for the money, and you can find them at every bar. So the first bourbon on our list today, we have Knob Creek. This is a nine year bourbon. This is a hundred proof. Now this entire bottle is for about 30, $35. And so if you are ordering this in a bar, it's going to be a lot cheaper than some of the other things that are going to be on that bar list. This is quintessential bourbon. You're going to get brown sugar, molasses. You are going to get a lot of spice in this. What I love about this is no matter where you are, every bar is going to have this. Every restaurant is going to have this. This is also a hundred proof. And so you don't need to mix this. You don't need to place it with Coke or with ice cubes. You can just order this neat. And because it's a hundred proof, you only need maybe one at the most two pours of this. This is going to allow you to have a great time with your friends and it won't break the bank. This is flavorful bourbon. This is a great choice for when you are bar hopping with your friends. The next bourbon that we have for you that is a great choice for the money, a great choice if you are going from bar to bar, a great choice if you're at a restaurant, we have Elijah Craig. Now this is an affordable option. This entire bottle is for about $25. And so that means that when you order this neat at a restaurant, at a bar, it should be at an affordable price. This is sweet yet spicy. This is made with a high, ra high rye content. This is a lower proof. And so if you wanted to have an old fashioned, and they ask you, what kind of whiskey do you want? Then you could tell them, add some Elijah Craig. Elijah Craig, this is a great choice, a great value for the money. Our next bourbon on the list. For those times that you are hanging out with the fellas, going from bar to bar, a great choice, especially if you are about to pay for the next round, is Buffalo Trace. This is a $25 bottle. And so if you order some shots of this or some neat pours of this, it's going to come at an affordable price. This is something that's also a great crowd pleaser. And so when you get a round of Buffalo Trace neat, no one in the crew is going to complain. This is sweet. It's mellow. It's low rye. I like to call this baby Eagle Rare. This gives you those same fruity notes, but this is a lot more findable and it's a lot more affordable. Buffalo Trace. This is a great crowd pleaser. If you're having a party at your house and you want to get a couple bottles, that you know everyone is going to enjoy, I would go with Buffalo Trace. You can get each of these bottles for about $22 to $25. Buffalo Trace, a crowd pleaser. The last bourbon on our list, we have Stellum Rye. Now, I know there are a lot of rye options. There's Old Forester 100 Rye, 
there's Sazerac rye. But I think that when you are picking out a rye, you wanna step it up a little and get something that's good. And so if you are out with the fellas and you look up on that bar and you see that they have Stellum rye, I would also recommend Pinhook rye. But this, this is a $50 bottle. This is rye. And so it's gonna make a great cocktail. You're gonna get a lot of rye spice, but you also get some nutmeg, you get some cinnamon, and you also get some notes of apple. This is a great value. This is the Stellum Black. This is an affordable choice if you are looking to get you some good rye. This is also high proof. This is 116 proof. And so again, it costs a little bit more than Old Forester or Sazerac, but that proof is a lot higher and the complexity is a lot higher. This is a great value for the money. Stellum Rye. Today for our conversation, I want to talk about coaches versus cheerleaders. A lot of you are not progressing in life. You are not excelling because you have surrounded yourself with cheerleaders. Cheerleaders celebrate you. Cheerleaders tell you how good you're doing. But in order for you to make it, you need to surround yourself with some coaches. Cheerleaders will always make you think that you're winning. Coaches will come up with a winning plan. Cheerleaders, they dance and they're pretty. Coaches will tell you the ugly truth. We are living in a time where everyone wants to surround themselves with cheerleaders. We are a generation that got eight place trophies. Everyone thinks that they are supposed to win, but a coach is going to help you to win. If you are surrounded by people who just celebrate everything you do, then you need to find some coaches. You need to find some people who are going to tell you the brutal and the honest truth. You need to surround yourself with some people who will pull you to the side and tell you when you're wrong, tell you when your work is mediocre. They will tell you when it's time for you to step it up. If you want to become a champion, you need to separate from the cheerleaders and get you some coaches. Let's finish this conversation in the comments. Like, subscribe, and join our Instagram page. You can find us on Instagram at Rise and Grind 411. Rise and Grind.